I okay. can't see anything. Yeah, you need a hat. I've done that. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. I am starting off today by getting ready. I woke up super, super early this morning. It was like 5.50 and I actually accidentally deleted my text from my sister, which I didn't want to delete because we have like a million different fun pictures we've sent back and forth. So I had a little situation at like 6 a.m. I like deleted my whole phone and was trying to like restore it to an iCloud backup. It worked luckily, but basically I was just like so stressed out at like 6 a.m. trying to get it figured out. So I was up super early. I did a workout. It was only a 15 minute workout. It was so hard. My legs are like dying and I'm so excited to just like have a chill start to the vlog and just sit down and I'm going to get ready with these products in this box I showed you guys the other day. But before we officially get into me getting ready, I also feel like it's a little bit bright maybe. Today's vlog is sponsored by Care Of. I have been working with them for years now. Just actually got a new pack of their personalized vitamins. So super easy. You go on their website, take their quiz. It takes you like a few minutes and they just ask you questions about like your lifestyle, your diet and all of that stuff. And they come in these little packs, which are actually compostable. So if you guys go on their website, it gives you instructions on how to compost them. It has my name on it. So I actually left my water cup over there. I was gonna take these, but I'll do it in a second because I'm too lazy to get up and get my water. But it comes with this little booklet that tells you what you got. So I have magnesium, veggie omega, and I also got a new thing of their plant protein. So this is what the protein looks like. It's my favorite. I love the chocolate flavor. And for the longest time, I always just got the plant protein sample kit. And I was like, why am I not just getting like the whole big thing because I love it and I love to make protein shakes with this. So super easy. I am gonna have care of linked down below. They have clean ingredients and I do have a code for you guys for 50% off of your first order and it is Aspen 50. So the link is down below. Definitely check them out. They're really transparent about like all the research and ingredients and everything that go into their vitamins and it's just convenient to have them in like these little packs to take every day. Super excited that I just got a new one in the mail and now I'm going to go ahead and get ready. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys these new tan or like this new tanning mist that I got from Isle of Paradise. I've been trying this out. I have the medium, but I kind of want to get the dark. So it's self tanning water and you just like spray it all over yourself and then rub it in and it develops in four to six hours. So I need to start putting this on at night. As you guys know, I'm a morning showerer and I do not understand how night showers work. I get that people don't wanna like get into their bed dirty, but I always work out in the morning, so I have to shower and I'm not gonna shower twice a day because that's just like wasteful unless I like got really dirty that day. So I guess I don't have to put this on my, see, but then if I put this on at night and then I wake up in the morning, I would shower it off. So I don't know, but anyways, I just put this on. So it's not gonna be developed for a few hours, but I have been liking that. Next, I showed you guys the other day, I have this stuff from Rare Beauty that I got. So I wanted to do like a full get ready with these. So I need to get everything out and look through this booklet thing again that explained like all of the stuff. I'm pretty sure it's like a full, I can do a full face of makeup with this and I'll even put on foundation, which I don't usually wear. Oh, there's a, pr okay. So starting with the primer, I should have like picked some questions or something to answer. I don't know what to even talk about <laughs> right now. This is an illuminating primer. So I'm going to put this on. Did I already say I'm going to lunch today? I don't remember if I said that, but I am going to lunch with some friends today. So that will be fun to get out of the house. I also need a mirror. Does this come with a mirror? Sweet. Nice and illuminated. My hair also is like so greasy. This is my go-to lately for like when I don't feel like doing my hair, which is most days. I do have a messy bun quite often. Sometimes the messy bun is not the vibe and this is a better vibe. Okay, next is foundation. So I have three of these. It looks like this one is like the closest color. I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was Cove or Luma, but somebody ate my sponge. Um, I'm just gonna use this one, not the one that came with this, cause that's the one that I think it was Cove that literally took took some bites out of it. I've shown you guys before that when I put on face makeup, I always like to put it on something instead of just putting it like directly on my face because I feel like when I do that and then like go like this, I feel like I get a lot smoother of an application and it's like not as cakey, but I'm not a beauty guru, so. Oh wait, she has a foundation brush. I wanted to use that instead. Okay, wait, I'm gonna finish getting the product off of that. Forgot, it's gonna be all like dried on my face now. 
Yeah, I forgot that this actually comes with a foundation brush. When I was in uh, sixth grade, that was when my mom told me that I could start wearing makeup. And I don't think it was in sixth grade that I went crazy. Maybe it was like seventh grade, but I used to wear like blue eyeliner and purple eyeliner. And I would wear so much face makeup because I don't know if you guys can like really see it a lot, but I have just like red little like bumps on my cheeks all the time. Like the same kind you get on the back of your arms I have on my cheeks. They've actually gotten a little bit better since I've been older. And without like any makeup and any self tanner or anything, they're like, a lot more noticeable. So when I was younger, I seriously went crazy with makeup when I was finally allowed to wear it. My mom just like let me because, I mean, I'm sure she told me like, hey, maybe you should chill out a little bit with the makeup, but I was just not gonna listen. I was like, I am allowed to wear it. I am wearing all of this, but I seriously wore like so much makeup, but I would put on a lot of face makeup and then like foundation. And then I wouldn't put on like blush or anything. So it was just like all one color. And I remember going into the bathroom at school and I just looked like I was like sick because I was so pale. <laughs> like every day all the time and those lights in the bathroom are not flattering anyways I'm using concealer next. I just was like so pale and then had just like only a layer of like thick foundation on my skin It was not a good look. Yeah, that's what foundation reminds me of if I like don't put anything else on with it But anyways now using the concealer I haven't used a concealer brush in so long, but this is nice I never feel like I can fully blend my makeup with a brush. Okay looking in this booklet for what else I have I use the primer the foundation the concealer. I guess I'll do eyebrows next I haven't actually been filling my eyebrows in lately I've just been doing like tinted brow gel, but I am gonna use this little pencil to like fill in the bald spots. I also in middle school used to make my mom like lighten my eyebrows. I would make her bleach them, not until they were all the way like white, but to lighten them, I would make my mom put bleach on them because I thought that they were too dark when I had lighter hair and it didn't look terrible, but it didn't look good. So definitely don't recommend anybody do that. I do wish that this brow thing had like a spoolie on the other end of it. It has gel, but not just like a plain spoolie. So now this side has gel. This looks like it might be a little bit lighter. This eyebrow always is such a pain. It has always been my bad eyebrow. Okay, I don't think I even dare attempt to do any type of eyeliner. Wait, what the heck? Did I just break that? Okay, I think I just broke it. So that's a sign that I should not use that. I never do winged eyeliner because I seriously suck. So we are gonna skip that, but I am gonna do blush. I have these four colors of blush. So I feel like this one is like the softest and the most neutral. These are all really pretty colors, but a lot of them are kind of like bright, I feel like. I'm also gonna put some of this on here. Mm, these are kind of like bright. Okay, that looks good. I like the color. Next, I also have four highlight colors. So again, these are all really pretty, but I feel like some of them are like a little colorful. Like this one is pretty yellow, but I'm sure it's for just like different skin tones. So for mine, I think I'm just gonna use this one over here. I feel like these would all be really pretty, but I wanna do just like a neutral one. So somebody also commented that the balls on top of these things make it easier for people with arthritis to open the product. So I thought that was cool. I don't know if that was like on purpose or they just like know that, but putting more on my finger. I feel like my problem with makeup is I always just get way too much. I will see so many like TikToks and stuff of people putting on foundation or like whatever makeup and they put on so much, but then it looks so good. But I just look crazy if I have like way too much makeup on. Like I put on the lightest layer of foundation and it looks fine, but I just feel like if I have on a full face of makeup, I look like a crazy animal. This highlight is really good. It's like very, very highlighty. Also, if you guys want any like real tips on this makeup, I'm sure that an actual beauty guru has done like I'm sure all of them actually have probably done videos on this stuff. So this is just me like messing around with it. I'm sure there's some good videos out there with like good info. Next, I'm getting out the lipsticks. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, okay, wait, let me find the page about this. Oh, okay. So this says, this is a dewy lip balm, which is so good because I don't really love just like plain lipstick. So I don't know if this one is meant to be like clear or if it's just meant to be like light pink, but this one is just like a really light color that kind of matches the packaging. Ooh, these are so cute. This one's kind of like a peachy one. Okay, so this one is like a bright, bright pink. And this one is just like a darker, more brownish color. So I think I'm gonna go with this kind of like peachy one. And I'm just gonna like dab it on because I don't want too much. Okay, I kind of got it everywhere actually. Oh wait, was I supposed to put on one of these first? This is a Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. So these ones are also kind of like brighter colors for a lot of them. So I probably should have put one of these on before 
the lip balm, but since I'm just doing light glowy makeup, I don't really want one of these because again, they're all kind of like brighter, more statementy colors. I'm also a person who cannot pull off a red lip. Next, I have this, which is the four in one mist. Oh, it hydrates, primes, sets, and refinishes skin. And there is my makeup. Oh wait, I don't even have mascara on. I was like, something is missing. Okay, so they don't have a mascara. Or did I miss it? That's like a... Okay, so yeah, they don't have a mascara. So I'm gonna do that really fast. I also, I'm gonna attempt to do a trick that I used to do in high school that I saw also on TikTok the other day. And it's putting like a card behind your like eyelashes so that you can like really, really coat them without getting it on your eyeball or your eyelid. And I totally used to do this in middle school okay i'm also gonna add a little bit of bronzer because i feel like i'm a little bit pale i like to use this estee lauder one it's actually broken and i went and bought a new one and then i was like wait this still has like so much stuff in it so i still use it put on a little bit of that i'm gonna do mascara so i have the mirror on my knees i have the card in one hand and the mascara in the other cover girl lash blast comment down below if you use this i try out so many different mascaras and i have other ones that i like but this is just always like my basic one that i keep so let's try Okay, I feel like I'm not liking that trick as much as I remember it, honestly. All right, attempting the other side. <gasps> Hi, baby! Did you want to FaceTime mommy? Are you upstairs? Are, yeah? I'm almost done, and then I'm gonna come play with you. Okay, I gotta go because I'm gonna clean up, okay? I miss you! Okay, so now my makeup is actually done. Super simple, didn't take that long. It was fun to try out these new products. So, do I have too much highlighter on my nose? I also have on this sweater, and then I just have on shorts, but I'm probably gonna change when I go to lunch because it's getting kind of cold and I'll probably wear jeans. Anyways, that is my makeup of the day. Okay, I'm ready, here is my outfit. I just put on some jeans, I have on this comfy sweater. I also added earrings. I feel like earrings always dress something up if I like didn't put a lot of time into getting ready and like didn't do my hair. Adding earrings helps so much. I'm going to head off to lunch. I'm excited because I get to listen to a podcast, which I feel like I don't do that when I'm like at home. I don't know why. I feel like I'm not paying attention if I'm just like doing stuff, but I love listening to the What We Said podcast. It's JC's podcast. So anytime I have a drive, it's like over 30 minutes. I get so excited to like catch up on all those. I'm not gonna take the camera, but I think I'll take my phone and get a couple of clips for you guys. And yeah, that's what I'm doing today. <gasps> Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, are you sleepy? No. Oh, you look like beautiful. Oh, are you talking to her or me? Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, see you eat lunch. Okay, oh. Time takes a toll. Okay, we are now about to make the apple crisp, I think is what it is. We're gonna make a dessert in a month. We went and picked out these apples the other day. So the recipe calls for six of them, but all of mine are super small, so I literally have like 20. So I peeled all these. It took wow. me forever. First thing it says to do is dice them up. So I'm gonna cut them off of the core and then use my dicer because that will be way faster. I also preheated the oven. It's still good. Time looking back on pictures and I find it hard to see you and myself in places where we used to be. Oh, time we got older, babe. Okay, an hour later, I finally have all the apples peeled and chopped. So now I'm gonna get the other ingredients. We need sugar, or no, cinnamon. We need lemon juice, brown sugar, old fashioned oats. I think we got it all. Are you gonna help me? And butter, okay. Every night, every day, promise will never change. Are you gonna love me? out what to make for dinner. Okay, for dinner, I decided we are doing tostadas. I'm getting the tostadas out of the pantry. I have cilantro lime rice going and also some black beans. And then I'm gonna try and make this jalapeno uh, cilantro dressing. It calls for vegan mayo, which I have never used before. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm sure that it will be good. So I need, is this a jalapeno? Yes. Okay. 
one to two jalapenos, a bunch of cilantro, a juiced lime, apple cider vinegar, and olive oil. Got both of those, and then vegan mayo and a little bit of salt. Okay, I can't find my food processor, so I'm gonna use a blender. Okay, a huge mess later. Dinner is finally ready. Kobe has everything except the actual tostada shell and she's eating it. I have mine. This dressing turned out so good, so I will link this recipe down below for you guys, but it is so yummy. So, I should have probably put olives on this, but I feel like I've just been in here for like ever, so I'm just gonna eat and this looks decent. <laughs> Hopefully this will taste good. That dressing seriously was so yummy. And now we're about to eat the apple crumble. I already took a bite and it's pretty good. I feel like there was maybe a little, I maybe should have done more apples because there's like kind of a lot of the granola stuff, which I think is the best part. So what are you so excited? I just put some vegan vanilla ice cream on it and me and Colby are gonna eat our special dessert. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just took the whole piece of ice cream. That's not what we made. That's not homemade with love from mom's heart for you, but you enjoy, okay? Here, look, do you want me to get you a piece? Mmm, is that so good? I'll link this recipe for you guys too. It's pretty good and it was pretty easy, so. Fun, yummy, fall dessert, huh? Do you like it? Okay guys, so I think I mentioned the other day that we got some pickleball stuff and we, that was like a couple weeks ago actually and we have not used it yet and it's starting to get cold. So we decided to come out tonight and luckily the pickleball courts are open so i'm standing on the shady side and parker's sister and her husband are here so we are going to play some pickleball and i think get some dinner so i don't think i've ever played maybe i have i think i have but like years and years and years ago they're always good at all the sporty stuff so parker is going to be so sad that i'm his teammate but it'll be fun so that is what we are doing tonight Holy? are you touching all the stuff yeah do you have an hoa i like it yeah. 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 We're trying to remember the rules because we haven't played this in forever. We already know we're gonna lose because I'm <laughs> not good. The babies are over here. Are you guys just playing? So fun, it's so fun for Kobe to play now that she can walk because she can keep up a little bit better. I also cannot see anything because the sun is in my eyes. Wait, how many points do you go to? We're probably not actually, I don't know if everyone knows all the right rules. We're just having fun, so. And then we'll do some solo games so I can actually win. What are we tied up? Where are you guys up? 3-4? Three, 3-4, four? Three, four, they're beating us. Aspen, you need to pick up the slack. It's my cup. And after that, we ended up going and getting food, like Aspen mentioned, and we went to our house, or we came here to our house, and we ate dinner, and we just hung out for the rest of the night. But yeah, so that is all for today's vlog. I wanted to say thank you again to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check out the link in the description and use the code Aspen50 if you guys wanna get a discount. Make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you in our next vlog. Bye, guys.